purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at onpurposely.com. Rest is a weapon given to us by God. The enemy hates it because he wants us to be stressed and occupied. Man, you know what God wants us to be? Peaceful and trusting in Him. Welcome to the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, your host. And all this week, you and I have been studying what the Bible says about how we can thrive as human beings on this planet who get tired and stressed out. And so often we resist rest, right? We've got our smartphone always right beside us, checking our email, checking social media. It's exhausting, isn't it? It's mentally and spiritually and emotionally draining. But look at you filling up right now. You're saying, I'm coming to the well. That well is God. You want to fill up on the living water and the bread of life. If you give God a space, He will fill it with something meaningful. So let's begin today at the beginning, shall we? As we study rest together, join me in Genesis chapter two. It's the first book of the Bible. We're gonna pick it up in verse one. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation. So he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. Wow. Okay. I'm not a theologian, but I am so inspired by these words. And I feel they're almost like a deep breath an exhale. Even God declared the seventh day holy because it was the day He rested from all his work. Stop and think for a moment of all the things God made, everything in the heavens and the earth, from the stars to the birds, to the oceans, to the mountains, to the flowers, and to you and me, and a bazillion things in between. And he called that seventh day holy. He called everything good that he made, but this day that he set aside, he called holy. Could it be, and again, I'm not a theologian, that resting is actually something holy? And if you're like me, you're going a million miles an hour. Hey, hey, this is the Bible for busy people, right? This is not the Bible for people who have all the time in the world. But look at God telling us today, it's okay. It's a holy thing. It's a sacred thing. To be holy is to be set apart. Sunday, the Sabbath day, is a day that God set apart for you and me to fill up. Perhaps you have to work Sundays, or perhaps Sunday is extra busy because of church, right? Because you're gathering with the community. Last time we talked about the importance of being plugged into a community. Pick another day. Maybe Saturday is the day you rest hard, right? We work hard all the time. We are plugging away. And I believe that God wants us to know that it is a holy thing to take time out, to fill up, to recharge and rejuvenate, to let your soul be restored. And on that note, I want to invite you to join me in one of my favorite passages of the Bible, Psalm 23, right there in the middle. We're going to read the message version today. Let your soul soak up these words. I hope that these are seven minutes of rest for you today. God, my shepherd, I don't need a thing. You have bedded me down in lush meadows. You find me quiet pools to drink from. True to your word, you let me catch my breath and send me in the right direction. Even when the way goes through Death Valley, I'm not afraid when you walk at my side. Your trusty shepherd's crook makes me feel secure. You serve me a six-course dinner right in front of my enemies. You revive my drooping head. My cup brims with blessing. Your beauty and love chase after me every day of my life. I'm back home in the house of God for the rest of my life. Oh, I think those are some of the most beautiful words ever written, and we find them right there in the middle of our Bible. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want 
If you just soak that up today, God, one of his names is Jehovah Jireh. It means God will provide. He has everything you need today. Do you need peace? Do you need joy? Do you need rest? And I'm not talking about a nap. I'm talking about a deep down peace that you can actually feel. The Prince of Peace is another name for Jesus. When you invite him into your space, I'm telling you, you're going to feel more peaceful. Just being close to Jesus, as David just wrote in Psalm 23, you feel more peaceful. Like he's not afraid, he said, to walk through the valley of the shadow of death because the Lord was at his side. His trusty shepherd's crook makes me feel secure. God is taking care of you, just like a good shepherd would protect the sheep, even when they stray away from the pasture and the others. The good shepherd is watching over you, walking beside you. That is so beautiful. And do you notice my cup brims with blessing? God wants to fill you up to overflow. I know if you're like me, sometimes you resemble your cell phone at the end of the day. You have like a 3% charge. God wants to bring you to 100% right now. I want to wrap up our time today with the words of Jesus. We find them in Matthew's gospel, chapter 11, verse 28. Then Jesus said, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens. Isn't that all of us? and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear and the burden I give you is light. I want to just take a moment here and thank the good Lord Jesus. He provides so much for us, everything we need. And we find them in the promises throughout the Bible. We often remember together that God has a hope and a future for us. We remember that He will never leave us or forsake us, that He is with us. But how often do we forget that He promises to give us rest? All we need to do is come to Him. Go to Jesus and you will find rest for your soul. That's a promise from the Lord's mouth. Until next time, you are loved. Thank you for making time for the Bible for Busy People today. If being part of this community is a blessing to you, it's super easy to share this podcast with someone you love. We're all about spreading the hope of Jesus like butter. So if you've got a moment to write a review, boy, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe you need a little prayer today or you're ready to take that next step with God. I invite you to check out our show notes. You're going to find lots of encouragement there. This podcast is one branch on a tree called Called Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose.